great city has great food. I'm going on a journey around the world right here in St. Louis to find good food and experience other cultures. I'm on a quest to find passionate chefs who cooks from the heart because food is love. It's gonna be delicious. Food is love. Love your food. That's right. Food is love. That is Lasser Sorensen. And that's the name of the show. Perhaps you've seen it on uh, Fox Midwest or on YouTube. And Lasser joins us right now. Thanks so much. I, I understand that you and your wife, Mary Jane, have moved to Alton. And you're going to base the show out of Alton, Illinois. Yeah, we haven't quite moved yet. We're looking for a house up here, but I'm definitely moving to Alton. And uh, I'm, I'm very much looking forward to be part of the community here. And helping Alton becoming a culinary destination. Now you are a master chef originally from Copenhagen. Copenhagen. Mm -hmm. And and your dad used to be a chef for the royal family. Yeah, he was a pastry chef to the royal family and uh, so I grew up with him making cakes of castles and wedding cakes. So uh, you know, it, it was an incredible time for me to see all that. And in Alton, Illinois, I, I understand you want to create a culinary boot camp. I do, you know, one of the challenges we face in the hospitality industry is, uh, you know, we, we've lost a lot of that uh, uh, love for the, for the hospitality industry and we're going to try to see if we can instill that in all the people we're going to hire in the restaurants we're opening here in, in Alton and, uh, you know, whether it's teaching them culinary skills or, you know, really just having the right attitude because that's what hospitality is all about. Hospitality is really love, right? Right. And, uh, you know, greeting you with open arms and saying, hello, how are you? You know, all of those things, we, it's elementary, but it's such a big part of it. You had a restaurant in DeSoto, Illinois. You closed it down right after COVID and you, you started this production, this television show, and the response has been incredible. You, you traveled throughout the St. Louis area yep. finding all kinds of different ethnic foods, saying you can travel around the world without ever leaving St. Louis and eat it. Well, you know, it's interesting uh, now talking about you can travel around the world. That's what we're going to do now. We're going to travel around the world with Food is Love, and uh, we're, we're changing our platform. So uh, also telling stories outside of St. Louis, and one of the stories we want to tell and the reason why I'm here is I wanted to tell a story about Alton you know there's a lot of interesting people here and, and interesting restaurants and it has a rich history so uh, look out for an episode about Alton as well. And you're also working with uh, John Simmons uh, yes he's, he's the attorney who has invested heavily in Alton and created uh, Alton Works. Yeah, I, I think uh, w uh, four months ago I met John Simmons and I think we it was like a perfect storm. I think some of the, the plans and dreams he has, I share some of them and, and we thought it would be a great collaboration if Food is Love would come to Alton. So now uh, we have an office here and we are basing Food is Love out of here and I'm going to help Alton Works that is a you know incredible organization here that really are inspiring to see what they have planned for Alton in the next couple of years and you know I'm very proud to be part of that. Yeah and Jane Simmons is in charge of that so we'll see what happens. Thank you so much for coming on Lasser. Nice to meet you and nice to meet continued you success. Keep us informed on what's going on. And, and remember food is love. Food is love. Love is food. <laughs> if you love uh, hamburgers. I do. Oh then you got to go to Fast Eddie's. Have you been there yet? N not yet. All right they've got the best burgers I'm told in Alton. And it's Eddie's, Fast Eddie's Bon Air. The popular drinking hangout was opened by Anheuser-Busch back in 1921. The Bushes wanted a place to enjoy a cold beer with a picturesque view of the river. And Bush had to sell the place about 10 years later due to new laws. Uh, it said breweries couldn't own bars. Well, it changed hands a few times until Eddie Scholler Sr., the original Fast Eddie, bought the Bon Air back in 1981. He quadrupled the size and added the inexpensive food items. You can get a, a half-pound burger uh, lasser there for just $3.99. How about that? Fast Eddie's has become a destination spot in the Midwest, visited by people from all around the world. And they say about 7,000 21st birthdays are celebrated there every year.